Hey folks, thanks for tuning into my channel. Please subscribe if you like this video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, clean a stuck or dirty injector. But before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and do a few tests here to make sure your injector's good. And maybe it's just dirty. So, if you can see on these injectors, on, on the very bottom, there's super, super small holes. There's four holes right in the end there. Those are your spray holes. When the injector opens, it sprays gas. Uh, the injector is ran by 12 volt power and a ground. The computer throws a ground to the injector, a ground pulse, depending on the load the car needs. It's always, it has a straight 12 volt and the computer just throws a, a ground at it. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and see if this injector is actually working first of all. Uh, we're gonna test for resistance. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, get a multimeter here. Turn it on ohms, the lowest possible setting, 200. Make sure it's on ohms. Doesn't matter what side you touch these uh, probes on because we're just checking for resistance, which is we're making sure the connections are good inside the connector, inside the injector, sorry. These injectors should have anywhere from 12 to 16 ohms. Uh, certain other injectors, they have a lower impedance, like uh, uh, say a sports car or a bigger injectors, they'll go anywhere from one to three ohms. That one tested out good, 12.3. So now we're gonna run 12 volts to this thing and we'll make sure it's opening up. I just got a little booster pack there. And uh, I got one connector on one side and I'm gonna take the other one and touch it on. And you should hear something like this if your injector is good. You can also test to see if your injector is opening while it's on the car. Uh, just with the car running, use a stethoscope, and uh, it should, you should hear it clicking. If you don't, well, and you hear it when uh, it's off the car in 12 volts, but you obviously have a connection issue that's running, running your injector, then you can check it with a Noid light. This one tested good. So if all your tests come back okay, I'll show you what works for me. I take transmission fluid, dump some in a dish. I take the injectors and I'll soak them in transmission fluid for at least a couple hours. While they're in there, you can do this test as well. Open, close, open, close. It helps lubricate everything that's in there. After you're done soaking, you can take a blow gun and uh, an air gun and blow them all out. 